You could say I'm a little body scrub obsessed, okay? Because today I'm gonna be reviewing every single Tree Hut body scrub that is on Ulta's website. And actually plus a few other ones. There's some limited edition scents that I have that are no longer available. And I'm also going to be talking about those, ranking those. I'm gonna be telling you from worst scent or least favorite scent to best scent, what I think about them. And I hope you guys will enjoy. I know this is a very oddly specific video. But uh, to be honest, this is like where my passion lies, okay? <laughs> I have really in the past like year or so really been into body scrubs and just taking those extra steps in the shower and Tree Hut, if you guys don't know, has some of the most affordable and fun scrubs on the market, I feel like. They come out with fun scents, they have like different packaging, all of that, limited edition scents, and they're also affordable, which I love. You can find them at Target, Ulta, Walmart, tons of places, they usually range between like seven something Thing I want to say in like up to 12 if you're getting them at Ulta sometimes they can be a little expensive but they do deals and overall they're a great quality scrub they're a little bit more on the abrasive side they're kind of this like sludgy paste that is full of sugar crystals it gives you a nice exfoliation sometimes honestly it's a little too much for me um, it's like a little too abrasive but I will say sometimes I prefer that as opposed to one with like one scrubbing particle in it you're like okay I guess I'll be rubbing this thing around on my skin for a while to get any results but anyway I digress I'm gonna to get into the scents let you guys know all my thoughts i'd love to know what your favorite tree hut scrub is down below especially if it was limited edition let me know which one you miss but okay let's get into it we're going from worst to best obviously and the worst one oh i hate this okay i have strong opinions i will say also like there are some scents that i really enjoy and there are some scents that i'm like never again no not happening and that is velvet coffee so velvet coffee is one of those limited edition scrubs it came out last fall and i was excited they came out with this one in like a pumpkin one and so obviously i picked up both i was like let's go and this thing is full to the brim <laughs> because i really only used it once i think maybe twice and it is coffee but it's almost like a bitter coffee churro. Like there's something almost bready going on and not quite cinnamon, but it's something like that. What I couldn't stand more than anything, like smelling it off the cap, I'm like, okay, that's okay. When you put this on your body, you're scrubbing, okay. You get out of the shower, you smell like coffee grounds. Like you literally smell kind of like dirty coffee and it really stuck on my skin. Like I had a stink to my skin from this that I personally just did not enjoy. Let's do like an, a vanilla ice latte. I love that, like a little coffee, a little vanilla, a little milk, like some cream, something else. This is just like more like a black coffee smell. You know what I mean? This is a little too bitter and harsh to me and what I wanna use in a scrub, like no. And if it didn't stick on my skin, then maybe I could like handle it. But the fact that when I get out, I smell like bitter coffee like I spilled coffee on my skin no thank you <laughs> no thank you personally so unfortunately for me velvet coffee was a no a big old no all right next up we're still in bad I'll tell you when we switch over okay I'll let you know which ones basically all the ones on the the baddest of the list and not baddest in a good way I would not repurchase I would not re <laughs> repurchase these products um, anything kind of in the middle there's like this potential I would repurchase and then I obviously have the ones that I, I have repurchased so next Blue Lagoon this came out this like spring or so there were like three scents that came out and I was so excited look at this color oh my gosh looks like tropical water thinking like tropical drinks like I don't know it's gonna be great no <laughs> tell me why this smells like those seashell soaps in someone's bathroom. No one uses them. They're just there. Oh, it is so soapy. It's like, yeah, a sea-themed bathroom, Blue Lagoon. They've decided to, instead of going to the Blue Lagoon, they've just made their bathroom the Blue Lagoon, and I don't want to be there. If you like a clean, soapy scent, you really want to smell like bar soap, okay? You really love that? You're gonna love this. This is perfect for you. I'm so happy they made a scent for you. For me... No, it's too clean, too soapy, kind of astringent, just like, I already feel my skin tight and like squeaking from the smell of this, you know what I mean? So this one's a big old no. Totally deceiving by the name and the color, honestly. Next up, this is the Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub. Now they have this in the body wash, so I'm assuming this must be a scent that a lot of people like, but personally, it's not really a favorite. I've used quite a bit of it. I really like, I didn't mention this, but I really love using the Tree Hut Scrub specifically for under my arms. I like using it on my feet or any like more rough area, my elbows, things like that, like every time I'm in the shower. I just find it does like such a great 
great job exfoliating those areas specifically. So sometimes I use like different scrubs. It's like a whole thing sometimes in the shower with me. But anyway, that's how I've been using this up. But vitamin C, it seems promising. Like there's something citrus going on, something bright, a little bit of sweetness. But again, we're coming in with like some laundry powder. Like it's just a very clean and soapy scent in a way that's just a little bit sharp to me. And just like, you can either get the seashells with this smell or the seashells with this smell. And they're like a different color. I just find it way too soapy for me. Not really my thing. I tend to like more of the sweet scents. I tend to like more of the like foodie gourmand scents. And that one's a big old no. Next we have Moroccan Rose. I was actually really excited to like this one or hope that I would like this one. But this is like a spicy floral. Ooh, it's definitely different. It's not super soapy. Um, it smells floral, but then it has like almost a pepper or some kind of like almost a spice to it, but I just don't get on with that. I mean, it does have a little bit of soapiness, don't get me wrong. I was really hoping this would be maybe like rose and citrus together or something a little bit brighter. And it's not like powdery, but it's definitely not a rose scent that I can get down with. So that's a no for sure. Okay, we're still in the nose, but this is the first of the fruity scents that I'm just not a fan of, specifically strawberry. It's too syrupy and like artificial and just so like, oh my gosh, this smells like you got to the bottom of a drink and they didn't mix it and you're just drinking the straight syrup. You're like, whoa, what's going on? That's why the rest of my drink tasted watered down. Like this is so potent, so strong. I was hoping that getting in the shower and using this scent, it would kind of dissipate or like it was so strong smelling it. But once it's in the shower with the steam, all that, like it would kind of tame itself. <laughs> No, it just was like so syrupy, so like sticky sweet smelling in a way that I just didn't enjoy. It's also kind of basic. Like I wish it was strawberry basil or strawberry lime or like if there were another scent in there, I think it could cut it or brighten it, but just straight up strawberry. It's just like the cheapest, most syrupy, smelling strawberry scent again to my nose to my taste to my preferences if you like these scents i am so happy for you this one's a no for me and like there are some fruity scents here that i also think aren't maybe my favorite or i would like them done maybe a little bit differently but this one is like i cannot i really can't do it i mean i have done it it's pretty uh empty but it's hard. It's a hard one. All right, we're still in the not repurchasable category to me. Next, we have Candied Lemon. What an amazing scent. Like, this sounds like it's going to be so good. This bright citrusy lemon with a little bit of sugar so it's not too tart. Like, oh, a little lemonade scent. I love that. This is not a lemonade scent to me, though. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't say it's lemonade. Okay. This is very powdered, and it smells like a lemon pez. So there's something really powdery about it. There's something kind of almost clean clean about it. It also could be like, you know, the lemonade powders, I think like country time or something. It kind of smells like that mixed with laundry detergent. Like it has a little bit of that, again, cleanness. If it was just the lemonade powder, I could get down, but there's something about it that definitely is like a little bit too powdery. That's making it a little off. I definitely feel like the lemon Pez is really kind of spot on. <laughs> like when I was using this, I was like, what is this smell like? I've smelled it before. And so it's not the worst. This is definitely not the worst. That could be someone's like fantasy lemon Pez. I could see that, but it's really not my fantasy. It's really not my fantasy. Especially because again, it still has like that laundry detergent aspect to it. We started with 23. So this is in 17th place. Just to give you guys a start. I know it's starting off a little negative. Like, does this girl even like these scrubs? Like, why did you make this video? I do. I promise we're going to get there. I promise. We just have to get through some duds first because I have like all of them here that are available plus some more. And so there's a few to like wade through. Okay. Next is pink hibiscus. And this one to me, number 17, Get it's getting good. I like this one. I could totally see how other people would like it. It's just not quite like a 100% my preference. So we're getting into, I could see myself if I had like a full on routine, like I knew what lotion I wanted to use this with. I knew what perfume I like to layer this with when I get out, like all of that. I could see how this at some point could be repurchased for me, you know, or even if my taste change a little bit, this is a nice floral, has a little bit of sweetness, doesn't seem too cheap, doesn't seem too like young or anything to me. Like it's, it's solid. I think it's solid. It's a little bit different also from the rest of the offerings. There aren't tons and tons of florals. So I give this one an okay. I don't know if I would like go out and repurchase it immediately, but 
I wouldn't say that I would never, you know, never say never type of thing. All right, these next four, so 16 through 13 here, these are all really fruity scents and I could see this being a section that tons of people really love and I wanna love them so much. I love the fantasy of fruity scrubs in the shower, especially during summer, all of that. And again, it's not that I wouldn't repurchase these. I could see myself repurchasing these at some point, maybe like just really feeling it one summer or whatever. But the way these are done is so heavy handed kind of syrupy, very sweet, just bam in your face, okay? Like, whew, it's a lot. It's like you've been burning the most potent Bath & Body Works candle in your house for like 24 hours straight, okay? And you've closed all the windows and it's a, it's a studio apartment. So needless to say, it's just intense, you know? It's just intense. So we're starting here with Peach Sorbet. This one is like a peach ring kind of, and I smell this and I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so good, but it's just really strong. And it does have this kind of earthiness to it. It's very slight. I'm just telling you like when you're actually using it, there's something a little extra, like a little extra moment in this peach. So that is kind of nice, but <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, again, a lot of these remind me of like alcoholic beverages. Like you went to Fat Tuesdays, you got the peach bellini. It's so syrupy. You added the extra shot. You're gonna regret some stuff in the morning. That's what it feels like. You're walking around the strip with a crazy cup that you're never gonna use anywhere else. That's what this smells like. That is what this smells like. So I could see people loving that. I just think that I like what I, truly love is something a little more delicate like a nod to that but like a little more elevated and i'm asking a lot i get it i'm asking so much <laughs> for a seven dollar scrub so i still love them i have them all i will continue to buy them i do really enjoy them i just i can still have opinions okay I can still have opinions. All right, next, watermelon. Let's give it some extra points because it has little like pieces in it, like little seeds. Like I love that, it's the cutest thing ever, okay? This watermelon does smell kind of like, oh, oh, it's kind of, oh. I think the peach one, actually I'm gonna put the peach sorbet, I'm gonna put the watermelon actually further down on the list only because I specifically sometimes with watermelon get that kind of like do you know when watermelon kind of has a stink to it you know I talk about this with like coconut water sometimes on my channel where it's like coconut water it sounds like it's gonna be so refreshing and so lightweight all this sometimes it's like a little stinky you're like hmm, I don't know about that you know what I mean <laughs> and I feel like watermelon can sometimes have that so in some smells I get just the like kind of fruity, almost Jolly Rancher, but it's so saturated that it turns the scent into something sometimes a little stinky to me. And that might just be me because a lot of people love watermelon and it kind of reminds me of the Bath and Body Works watermelon lemonade without the kind of like lemonade smell. So if you like that, you'll probably really love this, but it is again, like thick syrupy smelling, like a little artificial, but it's, it's a vibe, I get it. It's just a vibe, you know what I mean? It's a specific vibe. These next two fruity ones I like quite a bit more than the other two, even though they're kind of like all in this section. So this is Papaya Paradise. This one is so tropical. This one really smells like that. I'm telling you, it's just missing the alcohol. Like this smells like <laughs> A blended up alcoholic beverage that is coming out of one of those, you know, it's coming out of one of the machines. Like it's a specific thing. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. This one's very tropical smelling. Obviously papaya's in the name here. So it has that sweet tropical fruit smell. I do think this one's fun, very summer appropriate. But again, it does still give me those kind of like, I don't know if it's just the flashbacks or what, but it's definitely giving me that syrupy like alcoholic drink smell. <laughs> which again, is just a, a specific vibe, right? <laughs> okay, last for fruity ones and we'll get into some other sections here. This one is pineapple. Again, major points for the cute little specks in it. I just think that is so fun. Pineapple is so interesting. Pineapple sometimes to me can also get a little stink on it, but this one, I as much as it is syrupy and it is strong, I do like this one definitely the most out of all of these and I could see myself repurchasing this one. It is this mix of like, Kind of like Dole Whip, but a little bit sharper. But then also, as much as this is like syrupy and thick and potent smelling, it also does have this freshness to it. Like I really can almost taste the burning of my tongue. Uh, like all my taste buds are <laughs> obliterated after I've had a few pieces. Like I smell it. I really smell that memory. And so this one I could see myself repurchasing, especially during summer. I think that pineapple is a nice scent that isn't always around. Like it's kind of a unique one. So this one's really fun to me. I think I would repurchase that, even though it's a lot in the shower. It's kind of a lot for me, but 
I definitely can get down with that one the most out of all of those really sweet fruity scents. We're moving into the next section. This is the top 12 here, baby. So all of these I think are really solid. Again, I think at some point I would repurchase them. I obviously have my like fave faves, but next number 12, this one's actually limited edition. This is frosted sugar cookie. And this type of scent is definitely the kind of scent I go for. Like it's in the top for me. So instead of those fruity scents, I would go for the cookies, the sugar cookies, the baked brownie, like I don't know. Chocolate scents sometimes can be a little bit off, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of the scents that I would go for. So frosted sugar cookie, I thought it was gonna be something that was really like super sweet and like, yeah, bready even a little bit. And it definitely has that bread, but this is also very powdery smelling and also very cinnamon. I was not expecting the cinnamon to come off this, that little bit of spiciness, but it's definitely there. It's like weirdly realistic and also kind of powdery. So it's just an interesting scent. I do enjoy using it. I have a little bit left I've been like saving it it has these like fun multicolored like dots throughout which I think is just super cute kind of like sprinkles so this was a fun limited edition scent for sure if they re-released it I would pick it up next we have the birthday cake this one came out this year for their birthday and I was so excited because it's like a cake scent I was like this is gonna be vanilla frosting this is gonna be like a yellow buttery cake like I was so excited and I will say I thought this would be higher on my list so there's a reason it's at number 11 <laughs> I think it is so cute. I love that it's white. Again, it has like the sprinkles going on, but this almost smells more like, um, cocoa butter or something, which I don't dislike. It's just different than I thought. Like I, again, I thought it was gonna be that vanilla frosting. Like I want a vanilla frosting one. We'll get to a vanilla in a second, but it's still good. Like I still like it. I enjoy it. I'm glad they came out with it. I think I just had expectations for what I wanted this scent to be. So this to me almost has something a little bit almost like chocolatey or just kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like this really light chocolate scent. I don't know how else to explain it. It's kind of, again, like cocoa butter as well. Um, like cocoa butter scented products kind of give me this smell as well. So I don't dislike it. I just had, I had different plans in my brain, you know, but still a good one. Definitely one to smell if you like, like foodie gourmands. I think you should give this one a try. Moving on to number 10, we're, we're breaking into the top 10. This one is a pumpkin spice latte. This was the one that came out with that velvet coffee that I hated. This one smells good. And I think specifically because it's pumpkin, it has a little bit of that cinnamon spice to it, but it's also kind of bready. It has like almost like a pumpkin baked good. I get more of that than I do latte. I mean, I guess smelling it out of the container, I guess I get the latte more, but actually using it, I remember being like, this smells more like a, you know, pumpkin muffin or something to me anyway. But I really did enjoy this. And especially during fall, I think it's just like such a fun thing to add to your shower, add to your routine for that time of year. I'm a fall girly like most of us are. <laughs> so I love the scent, but I also just love using it at that time of year, like such great memories. So really love this one. I hope they come out with either it again or something like it, it'd be so fun. All right, moving on. There are a few in this top that I think are really good. And I think a lot of people would like, they remind me of different Bath and Body Works type of sprays, like in the stars or whatever they are. They kind of smell perfumey though. So it's not like fruity and it's not bakery. It's kind of like its own perfume in a way and one of those is exotic bloom So this really just smells like some girls really nice like body spray like it smells really good Maybe you were just where she was at, you know, or it almost smells like someone using a Bath and Body Works Shower gel in the shower when you like go into the shower after that's what this smells like. It's nice It's like girl cologne. You know what I mean? <laughs> like instead of it smelling like axe or something. It's like the girl version of that. And I think it's really nice. I think that a lot of people would like that. If you don't specifically like the fruity smells, you don't want a food smell, I would try this, or I'll tell you the other ones that are kind of giving that perfumey vibe. All right, we're on to number eight. <sighs> And this one's a tough one, okay? This is the Vanilla Scrub, and this one's full because I've already used up a full one of these. And this came out earlier this year. I was so excited because I love vanilla. You know, I wanted that vanilla frosting. I want that vanilla bean. I want that vanilla bourbon. Like, I want those super rich, creamy vanillas. Like, that's what I love. And so I was so excited for this. But I will say, beware, even though this is still, you know, number eight for me, I think I said, this is not the vanilla that you know, someone who likes pumpkin latte and cake batter, all that. This is not, oh yeah, that's what I thought. I thought the birthday cake would be like cake batter. It's not like that, okay? Anyway, I thought this vanilla was gonna be more like that. Super sweet, super foody, super rich, like, oh, so excited. 
This vanilla is more powdery. It's really not that sweet. It's just, I'm like, wow, you guys really tried to like give us a whole take I didn't expect. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? It's almost a little musky too, but definitely powdery. It's just interesting. It's like a powdered vanilla milk almost, but not super creamy milky like that. I don't know. And you might be wondering like, why'd you buy another one? Here's the thing, as I was using it, I did appreciate it more. I felt like it layered under things okay. So here it is, I have it again. So I know that that's not the most stellar review. I think there's someone this vanilla's for, but I just wanna warn against people who like love my vanilla recommendations. This is probably, like just smell it in the store because it might not be the vanilla you think it's gonna be even though it's like still ranking high. And one of you guys let me know that they had one called Tahitian Vanilla Bean and that is not available on like Ulta's site but I found it only on Walgreens so I ordered a few of those so I could smell it. And so hopefully I like that one but that one's not even like readily available. I'm sure they're phasing it out or maybe it was limited at some point. So that's why it's not in this video and I don't have it yet. So I'll keep you guys updated. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed subscribe for fragrance content body care candles i don't know random stuff about scent that i want to talk about <laughs> all right so that's the vanilla it's just kind of a interesting vanilla i don't hate it i like it more that i used up a full one i mean i liked it enough to repurchase it and it kind of grew on me but definitely not what i was expecting at all all right, number seven is the newest scrub. This is Ocean Glow. I don't know the notes on this one. I'm gonna look them up actually right now. It's like fresh and kind of smells like the ocean. I kind of get that. Also the glow one specifically have like little shimmers in it. Peach Sorbet has some shimmers in it. One of the ones coming up has some shimmers in it. So I think that's just like a fun thing. I don't notice that they actually like stay on my skin or anything, but just thought I would mention. But there's something kind of musky and fresh to this in a way that's kind of soapy, but definitely not like laundry detergent soapy, you know? So this has like a fresh and if I'm going for more of that clean, soapy feeling, I'm gonna go for this scent over the other ones I mentioned, obviously, because they were on the bottom. They were on the no, no, no list. So this one's really good. Let me look up the notes though. All right, I think I found the notes. On the Tree Hut site, it says amber, tropical seas, and fruity apple and apricot. Okay, I can get the apple for sure. I tend to like apple scents, so it adds a nice fruity freshness. You know what this kind of smells like too? I just did a video like doing a, a haul update and I talked about this Orbe uh, shampoo that's like for volumizing and I do get a little bit of that in here. So it's not exact, but kind of that same like musky, fruity. It just feels a little more elevated and I really like it. So this one, I would check out if you want something clean. This is more the clean that I recommend. All right, we're into the top six. This is one of those ones, I think this smells to me specifically like the Bath and Body Works Into the Night. I think that's what it is, like the black label, kind of sexy but super fruity and like berries and stuff, like that dark one, but it's still girly. You know what I'm talking about? I know you know what I'm talking about. This is Desert Haze and it has that same kind of vibe. Oh yeah, it's giving like fruity berries with a little bit of something sexy, like not quite patchouli, but maybe kind of patchouli. Like I feel like this would pair nicely with YSL Mon Perry, like that kind of a vibe. It smells good, like it smells like perfume and I think there's something nice to that. It smells more expensive, I guess. So definitely one I think is nice and worth it. That's not like one of my favorite scents ever, but I can appreciate it for sure in these scrubs. Number five is Bikini Reef. I think this one smells pretty good too. This is another one that has a little bit of that perfumey quality. Again, reminding me of Bath and Body Works for sure. I don't off the top of my head know what perfume this smells like from them, but still has a little bit of a sexiness to it and is nice and sweet, but still has that perfumey, again, quality to it, which is unique because not all of them have that. It definitely has a perfumey quality. All right, top four. This one is Tropic Glow. This has kind of been dubbed the dupe of the uh, Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom scrub and cream and all that, that whole scent, you know, the, the Boom Boom scent. This is another one that has the sparkles in it. And I do think it's very similar. It's not exactly the same. This one has like more of a muskiness to it instead of going more sweet and kind of nutty because the Boom Boom Cream is like pistachio and caramel and almond. It's really great. I love that scent. This one is a little more musky and maybe even a little bit more bright smelling, but very much in that vein. So if you love that smell, but you don't want to pay like $42 for that scrub, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. This might be something to check out for sure. And they have other things in this line as well. They have the body butter, they have the wash, they have like a 
shave oil. I think they have like a body mist even now. So you can get the whole range if you want. I think it smells really nice. Definitely gives me tropical vacation vibes and like summer vibes. So this is one that I like to use during summer. But now we're getting into the top three and the top three truly is my top three. These are the three that I would for sure purchase. The ones I'm gonna probably recommend the most. Like these are true loves. Like I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I got nothing to say. I'm zipping it because I love these so, so much. All right, number three, coconut lime. I think this smells so good. I'm a coconut girl. I do really love coconut scents. And this one does it for me. I love the coconut that's in here. I love that little bit of lime citrus. This smells like a drink I want, but not too syrupy, not too much. I don't feel like flashbacks and I don't feel like hungover. It's just nice. And it still has something kind of, again, perfumey about it, but not too much. Like it doesn't smell like an actual body mist from Bath and Body Works. So I really love this one and I've repurchased so much. This is definitely like a nostalgic scent to me in the scrubs because I've been purchasing this scent for like years and years and years and years and years. All right, number two, Coco Colada, another coconut scent. I know this one's full because I've already used this up. I've used this one up so many times. I also have this one in the body wash and I do think that the body washes smell a little bit different. Like they're just kind of concentrated different because I also got the Ocean Glow body wash and when I use them, I don't get the same scent experience. It's pretty interesting. I think I get a stronger scent experience honestly with the scrubs than I do the body wash. It's not necessarily bad, but just something I noted, thought I would just mention here, why not? It's all about tree hut anyway. <laughs> Like if you're here this far, you wanted to know that. <laughs> you really did. Anyway, I love this one. It's like a coconut. It is kind of like a pina colada, but I feel like this pina colada is nice and refreshing. You know, some can be so heavy and like, again, syrupy and just too sweet and too thick. This one's like, you're drinking a pina colada and you're like, how have I never, I've never felt this quenched before. I've never felt this refreshed. Like sign me up. I love it. I just, this one's so good to me. This is definitely summer in a scrub. This is like what I want to use. I absolutely love it so, so much. Okay, my camera cut off because I ran out of storage, so I hope we didn't get too cut off. But number one, we're here at number one, and I cannot stress to you enough how much I love this scent. This is not just number one by default because I happen to like it better than these other ones. Like, I would choose this over and over again. I think it is amazing. It is so, so good. And so unexpected, another one where I'm like, okay, Tree Hut, who even are you? What is this? I love it. And this is the cotton candy scent. Now, I know you've heard me say this whole video, it's too sweet, it's too syrupy, I know, annoying. And you might be thinking, how can you not like pineapple and peach sorbet but you love cotton candy and I know I would I agree with you I would on any other circumstance but I'm telling you this cotton candy scent is not like other cotton candy scents it's not this super sweet super whatever which I wouldn't even mind I do like cotton candy I have a soft spot for it it's good this cotton candy also has a little bit of the shimmery particles in it it's hot pink which I freaking love but this has the best softest sweetness to it in the most delicate way that I'm like I smell it and I go well that wasn't what I was expecting but I guess it is cotton candy. I got it. I get it. I get the inspiration. It's just not what I thought it was. I didn't think you'd go so abstract and obscure with your cotton candy that you would elevate it so. But they did. I just, I think this smells so good. I don't know how else to explain it to you guys besides that it's like this really soft, almost like half chewed bubble gum cotton candy scent. But the half chewed part isn't about the grossness of, of that, um, image it's more about the level of scent that you get so it's just delicate it's not overpowering it's just nice it's so good i'm obsessed with this i want this in the shower scrub i want this in the spray i want this in the shave gel i want cotton candy to take over okay it is seriously so good i highly recommend it and if you like cotton candy scents i'm gonna plug i have a whole cotton candy video about fragrances that have cotton candy notes so go check that out but that is my tree hut video for now i hope you guys enjoyed i have plans at some point and i I've been putting it off for so long. That's why I just filmed this one, but I do have plans at some point to do a kind of overall scrub video talking about a ton of different brands and the different textures and what's good, what's not, all of that. So let me know if you're interested in it. I'm kind of getting it together, but I just feel like I'm like, <laughs> taking it too seriously and I'm getting a little overwhelmed with it to be honest. So I thought that I would, you know, keep it fun and casual with the tree hut scrubs. I didn't feel like it was too much pressure. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to know, like I said, what's your favorite tree hut scrub? Are some of these scents that I hate your favorites? Please let me know. <laughs> but if you can't tell, I love the tree hut scrubs. I think they're so fun. I love buying them. I'm gonna keep buying them. I just have a really good time with them. And again, I love that they're so affordable. They're just like a fun treat to pick up. So if you aren't 
using body scrubs, pick up a tree head scrub if you want something pretty scrubby. It's definitely gonna scrub you, so if you're sensitive, it might be a little too rough, honestly, for you. It's like, it's gonna scrub you down, girl, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.